Rebel Moon Part 2 is dog shit. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry to break it to you, but Part 2 is worse than Part 1. But yeah, today I'm going to give you a little review and breakdown of Rebel Moon Part 2 because I thought this movie was hilariously bad. Even worse than the first one. But today, yeah, I thought I'd review it because it's... <laughs> it's it's terrible it is terrible but yeah uh, just a little warning do not watch Rebel Moon Part 2 if you easily get seizures because the amount of f slow mos Zack Snyder uses on corn alone is criminal okay don't watch it just don't watch it so first before we get into review let's get into the breakdown of Rebel Moon Part 2 so Rebel Moon Part 1 was all about Korra an ex kind of soldier wonder where they got that from uh going uh, to a, a, a like a little moon called felt making like a new life there because she kind of fell out with our last uh, adopted father and uh she kind of wanted to get back at these evil people for killing the king and queen of like another family that wasn't really explained that much then but uh yeah she gets some people together and it felt like a f side quest she literally went on different side quests to get different people and literally every single one of the characters I could not give a shit about, okay? I mean, General Titus, Cora literally spoke to him for like two minutes and he was convinced straight away and then we do not hear anything else out of that man until the next movie, man. <laughs> that was insane, honestly. And, yep, they fight. Uh, the Kai guy, the Kai guy, yep, he... um betrays them and there's a little fight and then Atticus Noble is dead yeah we all saw this coming Darth Vader moment there am I right but yeah that's the first movie they trail back to Velt coming on to second movie and surprise Atticus Noble is still alive whoa crazy am I right yeah he's still alive funny enough and uh I actually thought he was going to turn into like a like a robot or something but yeah uh he didn't he just got some like things stuck in his back and he's got like a, it, it just really wasn't explained he's got like this thing this flap and i thought that was pretty cool but then everything went downhill from there because uh the heroes the main cast reach velt the moon obviously from the last one and uh atticus noble finds out that they're back and he sets a course to belt for five days and as soon as the main cast the heroes get there um people are like greeting them respecting them giving them different presents but why but why you may you may question why why are these friendly villagers giving these strangers presents because well i don't really f know either to be honest they gave them like little presents that like represents different things that they haven't even seen from the characters we've seen them sure but the villagers they haven't even heard of what they've done they somehow have broken the fourth wall without knowing it they've somehow seen this whole thing play out they know but they don't know it doesn't make any sense they do that and then titus um finally speaks can can you believe it and he goes uh we should hide the corn because like atticus noble wants to get the corn so yeah, they hide the corn underground, they like, with explosives so they don't get it. And Titus uh, says, we will all train for this battle tomorrow morning. Nope, not tonight, tomorrow morning. Yep, you fuck. Yep, in the morning they start training. And I kid you not, there's like a scene for like 20 minutes of corn. Of corn, bro, of corn. Slow modes of corn as well. Yep, I told you, you were going to get a seizure from this. Do not watch it, man. I mean, it's such a ridiculous fucking... 20 slow modes on corn. I know Zack Snyder is like a guy that wants to make everything look beautiful. Sure, some of these shots look beautiful, but why? Why would you use 20 of corn? What the fuck? Anyway, yeah, there's some flashbacks of the king and the queen and um, Atticus Noble and uh, Cora's adoptive father and just Cora herself and then uh, we get back to the corn there's more of it <laughs> there's more of it and I've got like this floating platform that carries the corn and somehow they've got that they don't have something that cuts it as well so all the all of these people have to fucking waste their day uh, picking up corn and then we go back to Atticus Noble being an angry angry man but like Carlo Ren he shouts a lot but yeah and then we get back to the people on belt and they're training 
and all of them are pretty good at it already. They've taken, they've taken some things from Ray, I can already tell. Some just character development there from Ray. I think they've kind of magpied that idea just a bit. And then the most uh, stupid scene comes up. And when I say stupid, I mean stupid. <laughs> it's so bad. I mean, Titus, Titus, whatever you want to call him, he sits everyone down at the Longhouse, all of the heroes, the villagers sleeping or whatever. Just training something, picking more fucking corn, probably. And he literally says to everyone, tell me your backstory. It's a really sad moment. Tell me your sob story. And everyone does so. And it doesn't feel smooth or anything. It feels forced. Zack Schneider literally... It feels like Zack Schneider is literally in the movie telling people what to do. It doesn't feel like these characters should say such a thing. It should come out in a different way, I feel like. Why is he telling everyone... It's, it's ridiculous. So everyone tells the most generic, boring sob story ever. And it goes on for about 30 minutes. And I think it might be all in slow-mo. Well, that's what uh, some people have been saying. And it probably was. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of losing interest by then. I mean, I was actually falling asleep at this point. But I managed to stay awake somehow. Probably because of how shit it was. It took 20 minutes to show everyone their generic backstory. And uh, then Atticus Noble comes and everyone's hiding in the longhouse. And a massive battle breaks out. This guy pops out of the fucking ground. they got a rocket launcher. Shoots Atticus Noble. Atticus Noble dodges out of the way. It's cold. And uh, it hits the ship. And that blows up, and then Atticus Noble jumps down to where the corn is hidden, and does like a superhero jump down, and then like punches like four people. It didn't feel smooth at all. It felt so clunky. It was like Ugh. maybe he is a robot, you know? Maybe he is because that didn't feel smooth at all. And then all of these slow mo shots are used for like bullets. Or, you know, wow, wow, red bullet. <sighs> it's so shit. I can't believe it. And then uh, Cora. You know, follows Atticus Noble because he's a little pussy. He goes up in the ship and runs away to the main ship. The king's gay men. Sorry, no, the king's gays. Yep, he goes up there and then uh, Cora follows him uh, with the little farmer guy. I only know three names. Titus, Cora, and Atticus Noble. Oh, and James! We can't forget James, guys. That will be coming up soon. Yeah, they follow up. They pretend they're injured and they shoot people. And then Cora, okay, plants these little bombs. Um, on the ship and uh, Farmer dude just stays there and then uh, they get caught by Atticus Noble himself. Meanwhile uh, The people the village Titus Tarzan guy lady I forgot the name of and Japanese lady um, are Struggling and Japanese lady with the little rip-off lightsabers dies Okay, and I don't give a shit because I don't know anything about her The only thing I know is that she got like these robotic hands and chopped her arm off or something Wow, and then these people are struggling. Tarzan's using fucking axes, and uh, another tank comes and they're fucked up. And then James, yes, a robotic guy with the antlers, you know, from the last last film. Wow, wow, wow. He comes back, and no, it's not like a mysterious scene. He just punches five people, blows up a fucking tank, and then disappears again. Don't worry, guys. He's probably going to come back in the third one. Yep, yeah, there's going to be six of these bitches, okay? Six. Six of these things. How? How? Why? Don't understand. I'm not watching the third one, okay? Unless you guys want me to review it for some reason, I am not. I, I, I'm not watching it, man. I am not watching that shit. And then uh, James disappears for some reason. And can we just mention the fact that he turned up like an hour late? Like, people have died, man. Why are you coming in this late? And then Cora gets in a little rip-off lightsaber battle with uh, Atticus Noble. And then... He gets decapitated. Pretty cool scene. Only cool scene in the movie. Okay, that is the only, like, unexpected scene. I mean, in the whole movie, everything's expected. No, actually, no, I'm sorry. The corn. The corn is unexpected too. Did not expect those slow-mos, man. <laughs> not that many, at least. Anyway, yeah, Cora comes back. The farmer guy is shot, so he's injured. He's, he f dies. I don't give a shit. He's like the second main character in this whole film. He's like the guy we see at the start, and I, I don't give a shit about him. I really don't. don't know how they managed to mess up the character so badly. I mean, I don't really care about Cora at this point. I was literally sad when 
Atticus Noble died because I think he may be the only good character in this movie. I was sad, man. I was crying my, my eyes out, man. And they, anyway, they win the battle. The uh, South African space n****s run away. <laughs> Such a random combination. And, yep, they win. The King's Gaze is shot down. Anyway, yep, they put the funerals up like the flags and they burn them. Such a sad moment, am I right? It is very sad. It's It's so sad. It, I was actually crying my eyes out. I really cared about these characters, especially the Japanese lady with the uh, the lightsabers that didn't even fucking talk. It's, it's pathetic. I I don't want to watch part three, and I'm gonna give this a bad because it is bad. Okay, the last one. The video is deleted. The review on the uh, Rebel Moon part one, but I gave that an okay because it was okay. There were some good moments. Okay, but this one, that one, no. No, there were none. No good moments whatsoever. It was complete and utter dog shit. I don't have anything else to say about this. It it was terrible. Slow mo's what the hell? Actually, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. You dark dark knight, you wanted to make it um beautiful, but did he? I hadn't even watched that movie. Why am I saying that? Anyway, he wanted to make it beautiful, but he ended up making like it even worse by using so many slow mo's you could literally cut off an hour. I can't go off the slow mos, man. It's ridiculous. And to be honest, I think I might have already said this. I don't really have a script or anything, so I don't think I have. But um, it felt like it could have been done done in about 10 minutes, this whole thing. I mean, if you think about it, nothing really happens. They're on Velt. They train. They come. They fight. Main guy dies. Sad moments that I don't really give a shit about. And then it ends. Yeah, nothing really happens. They haven't really explored the rest of the universe. The world building, they haven't really done enough of. The character development is shit. I know they've tried to do it, but it did not turn out well, okay? It did not turn out well. Yeah, part one was better. This one was not good. Do not watch it unless you want a seizure from the amount of slow-mos that actually be used in this movie because it's ridiculous. It is shit. It's terrible, man. But, I mean, some people think it's good, which is fair enough opinions are opinions but some people would think that the, the scene of them sitting around in the long house the top house was good that's not an opinion that's just being stupid uh i don't know what else to say bad movie don't watch it unless you think it could be good the trailer to be honest it kind of ruins some scenes i can't lie <clears throat> the scene with Korra going up in the elevator or the left one you call it and then slashing down while that guy with the like, rip off lightsaber waits at the back is terrible and literally people pointed that out before the movie came out and I didn't really care because I thought this was going to be a good movie Zack Snyder learned from his mistakes but 19th of April this movie was released uh, this year and the part one released December I believe and they didn't really have enough time to change it because they probably filmed it at the same time. Yeah, I think they did. And Zack Snyder couldn't really do anything. And I don't think he wanted to do anything either. I bet he thought it was a masterpiece, which is fair enough. I mean, if you want to create your own universe, fair enough. But the writer's team obviously wasn't that good. All right. But yeah, tell me what you think about this movie in the comment section down below because I don't like it. Too many slow mos, had some good ideas, didn't execute them properly. Um, sure, it was a beautiful looking movie, but literally, if you look back at the movie, nothing happens. He could have just fit that in the space of 20 minutes, but no. No, no, no. He made it two hours because the amount of slow mos and like backstories and flashbacks is it's stupid, man. It, it could have been very good, but. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this movie. And like I said, comment down below in the comment section down below. Why would I say that? Uh, if you like this movie or not. And if you're going to see uh, the third film. I personally don't think there's going to be a third film because of the backlash. I mean, honestly, it was bad. How did he mess it up so badly? I don't understand. I, it just felt rushed. It didn't feel smooth. It didn't feel... Like, real. It didn't feel real, man. I was actually dying in that movie. And I had to watch 
the second part the next day. That's how much I didn't like it because I had to leave and just watch them YouTube because I was bored of how many slow mos there were. Literally, the, the corn picking scene, I was like this. Wow. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it okay? Is it... Or are you just not going to watch it? I mean, I advise you guys not to watch it. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed.